And I think storage is a really important thing. So this particular storage box for your gas bottles complies with all current and future gas regulations. There's more storage. You wouldn't believe it. Hi campers, it's Daniel here from Conqueror 4x4 and I've got the fabulous UEV 14 behind me here and I'm going to start by talking about storage. This was meant to be a very brief video on storage but that will not give it justice. Let me tell you there's more storage in here than you could possibly use and I think storage is a really important thing when you are going out camping whether you're with just a couple or whether you're with a family you need to be able to store things and have access to them quite easily. So I'm going to run you through the normal process of when you would be going on a camp or on a trip and you'd usually start with food and some pantry items. So if we look over here the great thing about the UEV 14 is that we've been able to retain our signature outdoor kitchen which people absolutely love. You can see on the inside door there immediately you have storage. That'll give you a bit or that sets the theme for how the Conqueror UEV 14 has been designed. Remembering fridge freezer our signature Snowmaster, and everything is here straight away. So listen, the day before or the day of, you can start loading in. I tend to use um, the left-hand side for my fridge, the right-hand side for my freezer, if I'm going a little bit long distance, but you can load your fridge and your freezer as you're working through your pack. This could be in your garage. This could be out on the street. If you're storing your camper somewhere that's not at home, you can literally pull up outside. It can be hitched on the back. You can open this up, put everything in it. You're ready to rock and roll, okay? So there's all your cold stuff. But remember, now you've got some additional storage next to this. And I love this storage, love this storage. So these drawers, are right next to you while you're using the kitchen. And if you want to know a little bit more about the kitchen on the UEV 14, check out the video on the UEV 14 kitchen because we'll talk about how these drawers integrate. But these are great to have right next to you for things you might need straight away. You might grab sauce, salt, pepper, oil, all the things that traditionally you would have had in your pantry. Now the other thing about the pantry of course, in a 14 it's a little bit more narrow than say the 490. So that's where these drawers become super handy. You have two of them here, both roll out, lock into place, they're fabulous quality, completely powder coated in the same signature look and feel that Conqueror is famous for. And what you also have on the next inside door is more sleeves, which is magic. If you're cooking here again, you're gonna think about some soft items you might need. You got your kitchen, you got your sink, you might have tea towels, you might have paper towels, you might have things in here that you don't mind if they get squashed in a little bit. So that's where the storage, that's only the beginning of the storage. So just imagine we're going away. We've pulled out the kitchen. We've put our cold items in. We've opened up really what is a massive pantry, two pantry drawers. We've chocked them absolutely chock-a-block full of things ready to use. Let's zoom on down here. We have further pantry space. This pantry is what we've become extremely famous for in the Conqueror brand and for good reason. But if I bring down the table here, we can also start loading items in your three shelves. Remembering these three shelves are all accessible from the inside. So if you're thinking about it, you might want to put things like some biscuits or some chips or some nibblies or some tea bags. Um, inside you might want to have a cup of tea, put everything here lined up easily. You can unzip that from the inside and you can access everything rather quickly. One little side item that's not storage related in regards to the pantry is you also have um, USB charging points here as well. And what I tend to find is really handy with these, if you can see there, you can charge your devices, you can slip them just under there, which is what I call a little bit of useless space. It's actually quite narrow. So you can put some phones, some charging cords and things like that. Off you go, you'll be fully charged and ready to rock and roll. So we've now put some um, pantry staples in there and remembering, Again, look at the size of these pockets. These pockets are really handy because when they sit back, they're actually ingressed about an inch. So you've got at least an inch there minimum before you start compressing anything. The other thing which is handy with a little lip here as well on the table that comes down is you can sometimes mount a chopping board under there and the chopping board will sit in behind the elastic strap as well. So it means you can have access to things really, really quickly. Remember, Conqueror is about enjoying the outdoors. You don't have to use the outdoors, but when you do use the outdoors, you have to enjoy them. And that's what this trailer is designed around. So we've got our pantry full, we've got our fridge full, we've got our second pantry full, 
we're nearly ready to hit the road. Let's go and have a look at the front. So in the front now, we've got a couple of other storage items here. We have our powder coated front gas bottle storage. And again, everything in a Conqueror has been really thought out well. The good thing here, you can store up to two nine kilo gas bottles in the front. The lid simply comes off. In the front here, you can either go with two nine kilo bottles, or in this case, on this particular unit, we've got one nine kilo bottle, which makes the storage next to the gas bottle even more available to you. Um, things like, think about non-combustive items, things like um, raincoats or jackets or things like that that take up actually a fair bit of space. And if you're gonna use a rain jacket, you probably don't want to use a rain jacket. Get out of the car, run here, open it up, put the rain jacket on straight away. It's a really easy item to access. Important to note as well with the UEV 14, we've adjusted now the front storage um, canister and it's, it's got vents on the bottom. So this particular storage box for your gas bottles complies with all current and future gas regulations. Great point to know. Okay, so then we simply put the lid back on and the lid has four very simple clips. Put the four clips on and there's your gas bottle, gas bottles, rain jacket, whatever you like. We also have another tray at the top here and I love this tray. With this tray it's important to understand the dynamic um, nature of it. These clips come with your Conqueror 14 and the good thing about these clips is that they go into any of the actual holes along here and they act as tie down points. So for example, I've put one in here that just simply comes out. If I put it back in and if I wanted to mount something and I put one at the back as well, I can put some straps around there, pull it really tightly and I've got complete tie down points. Um, the back of the 14 has, again, what we're famous for, a firewood tray, uh, which is almost similar to this, but the good thing about this one, I tend to use it for a little bit of firewood. It's not too high, easy for me to access, strap it down. I load this thing full of your little clips and, um, and it couldn't be any easier. This is a game changer. It's an absolute winner. Then if we open the front, we've still got more storage. In the front here, on the right hand side, you've actually got your Airbag Man um, air compressor and that's the only thing you have in the front box here. It's on this side, because this is the side you're gonna be using everything. But if I entered this box from the other side, you can put in camp chairs, you can load things up all the way through the front of this box. This box then closes up nice and easily. And of course, it's lockable, so you can lock that straight away. So that covers storage from the kitchen side, covers storage from the front. Remember, I haven't even opened the door of the trailer yet, but I wanna show you the other side as well. Come and have a look at this. Okay, so let's go and check the storage out on the other side now. We didn't quite get a good view of this from the other angle, but that you can see right there, plenty of storage for camp chairs, anything dirty, camp ovens, you name it, you can put it right in there. And I might also um, add, there's a second bayonet here as well, which is connected to your gas. So although you've got your kitchen set up with your bayonet on that side, you've got a second bayonet here. So if you, you've got a, an, an Australian approved bayonet connection, you can plug anything in here and you've got instant gas access. One thing that I didn't mention on the front boxes, which I think is a really good feature, is the way these handles close. And it's gonna be hard to catch it on camera, but when it goes up into the closed position, and then when you finish it off, it pulls it in about three mil. And what that does is that secures it a little bit more against the rubber seals, especially if you're going into an environment where it might be dusty. So if I close this and I pull it a little bit more, you'll see it coming in. There's more storage. You wouldn't believe it, these are the final two storage containers, but remembering, this has all been easily accessible from the outside. So if I open up this storage, of course you've got storage in the door there, which we've seen on the other side, and look at the size of this tray. So there's a pull-out tray there, could be a generator, could be anything of size, it could even be a little portable barbecue that if you wanted to go off site somewhere and have a barbecue down by a river, you can take it with you. That is an enormous tray, heavy duty tray of course, and that tucks away. So I'm gonna close this side up, and I'm gonna open the side next to it, and you'll see 
Straight away on the inside, you've got more storage pockets and you've got another heavy duty commercial grade drawer. Um, this drawer is where you can keep things like, for example, your airbag man, airline hose and pressure gauge. You've got different power cords. You've got a little Conqueror pack that comes with the trailer. You choose it. What you'll tend to find is there's that much storage here, you'll make it your own. Interestingly enough, this is the opposite side of the kitchen. Now you can see here, this is a cable snake. So all your cables that run in through to the kitchen as you're pulling it out, sort of operates like a tank. You'll never get a kink in any of your lines. It's a great design. And guess what? More storage underneath here. So that covers off the storage in the Conqueror UEV14. If you can find a trailer with more storage than this, I'd be highly surprised. If you're using plastic tubs of any nature when you go camping or you go enjoying the off-road, don't do it. There are trailers like this that have so much storage. Anyway, see you out there. Thanks for listening.